Three, two, one, zero, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. Welcome back to TTM Trades. We're going to be doing my end of week recap on tickers T R O V O H R P M Y O and ticker R H E. Uh, I made them my top three for the week uh, back on February 4th, as you can see here. And it has been one heck of a trading month as far as February goes with the markets being very choppy. Um, but once again, thank you to all my new subscribers to TTM Trades YouTube channel. Hopefully you all are making money with me and you are learning at the same time. Also on my uh, stock Talks account up to 1.5 thousand followers. I definitely appreciate every single one of you. So just a quick glimpse at the market. One of the top ones, the S&P 500. Um, as you can see, this, this is the weekly, by the way. Uh, the past two weeks have been quite ugly. Just dropping at a rate of craziness so traditionally if we look back um, the 200 period moving average excuse me the 50 period moving average uh, has always supported it on its way up on a crazy dip so as you can see here crazy dip support crazy dip support had this long run as you can see it stays in the top Bollinger Band nice and smooth and then finally past two weeks of just crazy selling so uh, if we continue with history and what the chart has shown, it looks like it may have another week of dropping and then hopefully find support on that 50 period moving average. Um, and then we can start some consolidation and working our way back up out of this rut. Uh, but <clears throat> yeah, man, it's been a crazy, crazy two weeks of trading. I've actually had to adjust my trading style just because how choppy the markets were. All right, so let's just jump right into it. There you go. So we're going to be talking about ticker MYO. Um, as you can see, this is the price action as of lately. I kind of marked up the chart already. Um, well, I marked this chart up months ago, and I've just been dragging everything over as we go. So I uh, called this one right before the markets open. Uh, what was that? Right here at this close of 4:45, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right, so uh, yeah, I called this one, and then for the whole week, it just continued to drop. So uh, if anybody got in on that call, uh, let me just update you on what we should see going forward. Okay, um, so originally we had this run up, as you can see, um, had the run up, found support, broke through old resistance. Ran into new resistance, found support, broke through that resistance, hit new resistance. And we thought we would find support right here at this $4 area. I said if it holds this $4.45 to $4 range, um, then that would be a good look uh, for the stock because that's where uh, traditionally the stock was having issues breaking out at. Not even a $4.45, honestly. It was having issues at that $4 range because that's the channel we was in. Um, right in here so give or take uh say 420 well let's just stick with the 445 i don't want to change it last minute on anybody so i said if we could hold above this 445 range then uh then that would show some consolidation and then the bulls would pretty much take back charge and we'll head up to our next profit target at 675 uh with the markets being choppy um there hasn't been a lot of bullishness in the market lately a lot, lately a lot of people have been playing it very careful some people have just been staying cash so as you see with ticket myo it did not find support on that 445 and then it broke through and it came back down into this channel now everyone who's been a ticket myo for a minute uh, ever since back in december knows that they was uh working this channel for about a month going into the end of january and then they finally broke out of this channel and pushed up into our first price target uh, of 567, 563. Okay. Um, and then what we wanted to do was find support. We didn't. So, what happens is when you break that line of support, you will find yourself back in your original channel trying to work your way out. So, right now, 350 is the old support that held. Now, this support at 350 is a little more trustworthy than that 445 support. Why? Because 
we ripped through that resistance at 445, hit our first price target, and then came back down, and then we didn't really have enough time to consolidate right here. And what I mean by consolidate is sellers getting out of the way, new buyers coming in, taking positions right here at 445, it consolidating for a couple of days to maybe a couple of weeks, and then you have enough buyers who have bought in in this position to hold that line before it begins going up, and then new buyers pile on and it pushes up. All right, we really didn't have that much time in this range. We just ripped through it and then we came back down. So it really didn't have a, uh, enough time to consolidate in this area. Now, if we come back to this 350 range, you can see that 350 has been a good price target to hold ever since back in December. It has consolidated on 350 a very, very long time and has held, as you can see. Okay, uh, broke through support on 350 support on 350 support 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 rip through and now we're coming back down in this 350 area which is now the new support all right and this should hold i highly doubt that we will break through this 350 that's just my opinion okay that's my opinion everybody i highly doubt that we'll break through this 350 because it has been such a strong support and a strong line for the bulls to hold all right so what i see uh, moving forward is some consolidation again right around this 350 area and then we get a bounce and we begin heading back up now since we are back in this channel guess what the old resistance becomes 445 again so we have to break back through 445 now this dip to 350 also correlates with your RSI remember I told you your RSI uh, is in a bullish state anytime it is working in between that 40 to 90 range <clears throat> anytime your rsi breaks through 40 a lot of people say the middle line at 50 but anytime your rsi breaks through the 40 and holds above it then the rsi is in a bullish state um, that bullish state is broken when it falls back through 40 and begins trending back down uh, below 40 again all right so when you're in a bullish setup or the stock is still in the bullish setup for you to make plays it will find support on that 50 line and the 40 line so as you can see as we come back down to this 350 area that also correlates with your RSI coming back down to the 40 on the um, RSI okay so we have two last stronghold areas for the bulls 350 per the charts and the 40 area per those who use um, oscillators like the RSI okay so uh, me personally I was going to get in at this 445 area I never did um, but if I was a betting man I would definitely make my entry at 350 even now as you can see as it was dropping and it touched the 350 and dipped below there was a lot of buying to pull this back up all right so um, what I see is over the next couple of days that it retest this 350 area, consolidate on top of it for a little while. Once the bulls see that this area still continue to hold, then they will all power back in and push this back up. All right, so 350 is the last stronghold. All right, let's move on. <clears throat> I can talk about ticket MYO forever. Um, OHRP. So this is the one I actually got in. So I got right in at 30 cents um, because you can see that was the area that was holding we were making a descending triangle um, which is a bearish pattern but can also be a breakout pattern depending on how it plays so we got in um, I made my entry uh, I believe on this day one of these two days right here right at 30 cents the following day it dipped down to 28 uh, which was a little scary for myself and then it pulled back up and closed right at that 30 area Again, the next day, close above, close above, and then we had another dip below, and it closed at 29. So, um, what we have here now, uh, if we just zoom in just a little bit. So, the 30 cent area is somewhat holding, uh, but we did close below it which is a little scary so what I see now is that we had this dip down to 28 luckily when you had that dip down to 28 it automatically pulled back up and closed at that 30 cent range so that means there's a lot of interest in this area from 30 down to 28 alright so what I see now is we'll probably come back down retest this 28 um, I would probably wait to make sure that that 28 cents hold and then make an entry at the 28 cent mark uh, the stock is still consolidating as you can see none of our momentum 
uh, indicators have moved. The RSI is still flat. The CCI is still flat. Um, so the momentum just isn't there yet. So it's kind of at a stalemate. Um, I will wait to see if the 28 cents holds. If it does hold, then any entry between, as you can see, I drew a line here. We got two lines of support, one at 30, one at 28. Any entry at 28 to 30 is a good <clears throat> entry. I made my entry at 30. Uh, I probably could have continued holding that 30, honestly, um, because the risk to reward ratio is way bigger. So for those who got in around that 30 cent area, uh, what's the risk? The risk is that it dips down to 28 and closes in that 28 cent area and you, you took a two cents loss. You know, that's not really bad. That's right around a 7% hit on your account. Okay. Uh, that's the risk, a 7% risk. No, now what's the reward? The reward is a possible jump from a 30 well 28 to 30 up to this 40 cents um, even a retest of that 50 cents well that 49 cents right here and you're looking at a 30 percent reward to a 35 percent reward so i may have jumped out of that too quick i possibly could have stayed in that at 30 honestly because the risk to reward was still in my favor um and that was just me jumping out being impatient okay so if you did get in that 30 cent range i mean you're still good to go uh 28 looks like the new support um the risk to reward is still a good play on here i mean the risk like i said is a seven percent loss compared to a 30 to 35 percent gain if this were to bounce and then go back up and retest these resistance areas at 39 and 48 all right so um ohrp is still a play that is on my radar ever since it's made this new low at 28 even though it was accumulated and bought up and pushed back up to this 30 I uh, just want to see this 28 cent range tested a couple more times to make sure that the buyers or bulls can hold it above that level and then I'll jump back in there. All right, moving on. <clears throat> ticker RHE. All right, so as you can see on ticker RHE, uh, I pointed out that we had a rounded bottom um, prior to this opening up, and then I said that this would be a good play as long as this 23 cents. Uh, support right here held this green line all right if this green line held then it'll be a good support area and then you can work your way back up to this 28 cents uh immediate resistance and then at 40 cents where you can see we have this downtrend at to try to make a breakout right so uh immediately the markets were bad so monday tuesday wednesday uh, excuse me monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday it just it broke through that resistance <clears throat> and fell back down. I mean, it broke through that support and fell back down to uh, old support. So uh, it found this old support right here in this area, as you can see, where there are a lot of tests where it held its own, as you can see, support, even that dip down support, support, support support on these support across the board here dip down then it became resistance for a little minute broke back out and support support before it ripped so all it did was it dipped back down to his, uh old support levels somewhat like ticker myo did um which is right at that uh 20 to 21 cent range um you want this area to hold if it holds above that area then again it's still a good play um if for some reason you were to break through that 20 cents on high volume then you're looking at the next support level down here right at this bottom which is close to the 15 cent mark okay so that's a big gap that's a lot of space in the area to fill so last line of defense 20 to 21 uh cents good area to buy in like i said your risk to reward is still way better uh, if you were to get in right here at that 20 to 21 cents and if it were to break through then just put a stop loss take a small loss and get out um, but the reward is still great because you can sit here and you can get in at that 20 to 21 cents and get that bounce up to retest that 29, even this 40 for a nice profit. So it just depends on how you want to play it. Um, just know it is right at that support level. Um, if you manage to lose this area of support at 20 to 21 cents, then just get out altogether and reevaluate that stock. And last but not least, uh, ticker TROV. Oh man, I got this chart all marked up. Let's zoom in on this one. All right, so ticker uh, TROV actually did good this week. It had a last minute breakout on Friday. 
Um, so as you can see, we're in between this channel uh, with a 41 cents resistance and uh, a give or take 27 cents support. So as you can see, um, it dropped down uh, down to 23. This area became resistance right at 27. Finally broke through. We had this uptrend heading back into this line of support. I mean, this line of resistance. The uptrend ran into that resistance. Could not hold the trend to continue to break through and then fell through. So that trend is no longer. So we went back down. Guess what? To retest the support. Um, the support held just fine. And then we broke through this channel and we held in this general area. So now the area that is holding in, it looks like it's a new support area that correlates um, to this old resistance. You see this resistance? You know my golden rule, old resistance becomes what? New support, all right? So if we draw that line straight across, as you can see here, resistance, 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 broke through, the resistance became support in this general area, could not hold, fell through, then this became resistance again, now, as you can see, we're consolidating right on top of this line again. So that area of support is right at 31 to 32 cents. Um, as you can see, a large spike in volume. Um, so there was a lot of accumulation late Friday. It pushed back up into the support and over it at 43 cents, but closed below it. So is the stock bullish in a sense? Yes. Um, because it broke through this it didn't fall back in this channel down here as you can see like I said this old area of resistance right this old area of support it didn't fall in this channel right here of 27 to 29 cents right it didn't fall back in this channel uh, it literally gapped up and then it held above that channel uh, with ease and it's not going back down there so right now your support is right at 31 cents so one or two things can happen on Monday because with that amount of volume behind it on Monday you could do either on Monday is going to rip through this line of resistance at 41 which is uh, main area of resistance right now uh, it's either going to rip through that area and then test the uh, uh, next area of resistance which is this 51 cent range as you can see here support now will become resistance and then if it rips through there, you have this old area of support, which should become new resistance right here. Here, let's just bring this down to 55. As you can see, this area consolidated on top of. So you're either going to rip through that 41 cents on Monday and come up and test this new area right here at 51 cents uh, as the new resistance and come back down and consolidate on top of old resistance and or you're going to have a pullback with some consolidation in this general area from 32 to 41 cents uh make an entry is definitely a good play all your momentum indicators are pointing that the bulls have full control of this stock right now um right now you're in this channel like i said from 32 to 41 so i would say a safe entry if you want to get greedy and try to buy in right at support at 32 which i highly doubt um, the bulls will allow us to get back down that low but if you want to take a risk and try to get in at 32 you could put your entry in at 32 um, a safe bet I would say this will probably pull back down to this 37 area uh, just as a slight pullback uh, make your entry and then continue to ride this trend going into next week with profit targets right at that 51 to 55 cent range and once you hit these two areas of resistance uh, you're probably going to get a lot of profit uh, taking um, from sellers and it's going to begin to pull back and again anytime you break through all resistance it has to come back and find that area as support as we pointed out in the past couple of charts we just looked at uh, once you retest that 41 cents as support which would be a great area to make an uh, entry in um, then you'll push back up into those resistance areas and start trying to work your way back up into these areas of 70 to 68 cents so uh, but this one looks pretty bullish. Uh, this would be something that I would play next week, um, even though I'm not. But if I didn't have a small account doing a small account challenge, I would definitely jump on that once it pulled back, hopefully, to 37 cents and ride that up into those two areas of resistance up here. So uh, that's my review. One out of my four actually took off. The other three pulled back to the old areas of support. 
Uh, so hopefully nobody took any major losses. Um, anytime I mention my top three plus one, I always mention support areas within my video. So if you decide to play a stock that I mentioned, please be mindful of that support area. Um, because if you lose that level of support, then that is your cue to get out of that stock. Okay. Um, I am not there to put that exit order in for you or that sell order in for you. Okay. Uh, that's why this is called a line of support. If that line of support is lost, uh, lost, then it does something psychologically to the bulls. It tells them that uh, there's no strength in that general area. And across the world, there's a general consensus that bulls aren't interested in that price range. So people begin selling and getting out. And then bears smell the blood in the water and they jump in and start piling on their shorts. Or people begin taking profits to cover where they enter that. Okay, so that's what that level of support represents if a level of support holds over a period of a couple of days or to a couple of weeks then that tell bulls also known as buyers worldwide because there's not like a telephone line where we can all call each other we have to look at a chart and psychologically understand what's going on with the stock um, <clears throat> but if that area holds then that tells all bulls worldwide that hey this is an area that we are all interested in where everyone are accumulating the shares and we are buying out all the weak hands who are selling and we know that that's a strong base that's going to hold as we make our next leg up so you always want to pay attention to your support areas always uh, another note I had somebody ask me is that my style of trading looking at support and resistance and doing patterns that's actually not my style of trading the only reason I do my videos in that type of style is because those are the basics and I have a lot of new followers who have no idea how to trade so when I go over my charts I go over it as far as support resistance trend lines and patterns because those are the basics that I want my followers to learn when you learn those basics then you could begin getting into indicators and oscillators and the RSI and the CCI and Bollinger Bands and everything else that comes with it but right now I want you all to learn the basics of support and resistance and trend lines if you can identify areas of support then you can make safe entries and help preserve your account and if you can identify areas of resistance then you know where to take profits going into those areas because you know there may be a possible pullback and you can lock in your profit okay so let's learn the basics my style of trading uh, I probably will never teach through YouTube that would probably be something I would teach in like one of my premium memberships to those who want to learn because it's a little more complicated um, also my discord channel I've been working on this for you all putting it together different channels stock market news social media news the actual trading floor where we all meet and talk a stock market bot where you can actually punch in commands and it'll give you information on certain stocks that you're looking for and even a music room where you can go to and play music and study i upload all my youtube videos here my daily picks here even some of my scanners and all of that so join the discord chat uh, if you want to be a part of the community we probably got 115 members right now um, and we're growing little by little. All right, TTM Trades, I'm out. If you learned something, subscribe. Definitely join the Discord chat. Let's continue to grow the community. I cannot talk today. And let's continue to make money together. I'm out. Swiftin, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.